Finder. All right, we're counting down to Valentine's Day. And if you're planning on making a special meal for your honey, we've got an expert that is willing to share his recipe with everybody. Here's our guy, executive chef John Hogan from River Roast in uh, downtown here, River North, to share a recipe that's uh, kind of special to you, right? It's very special. Uh, this day, 14th of February, is special for a couple of reasons. My father was born okay. in 1926. He's passed on to that great rose patch in the sky. Good. But my, I also, I proposed to my wife 10 years ago Saturday. Oh, oh congratulations. Nice. Uh, so I want to gonna... thank my lovely wife, Chris, for keeping, keeping me around. Uh... <laughs> so let me ask you, John, well you're going to be working Saturday night. Certainly. At what point will you celebrate your anniversary and Valentine's Day with your wife? I'm hoping to be on a beach on Sunday somewhere, so <laughs> that's where we're going to celebrate. Uh, John, that's wonderful. So, what are you making? Well, this recipe I make for my wife on Valentine's, Mother's Day, special day is her birthday. And it's uh, soft scrambled eggs with caviar and some kind of bubbles. Today we're going to do cava from Spain because the French think they're the most romantic, but I think probably the Spanish. Oh, okay. okay. So soft scrambled eggs yeah. with some caviar and bubbles. Right. What makes it. them soft, John? Well, typically we cook this over a double boiler, and this is a good tip for house cooks. If you have a catastrophe in this kitchen, you can ignore it. I couldn't get the water to boil on here, yeah. so I'm going to do them over this. But you just <laughs> lightly, lightly scramble them so they're still creamy, and then you hit them with butter, and that softens them up a little more. Now, ah. it's amazing how chefs say creamy, and we call them runny when they get to our table. You don't want them to be, you don't want your, no, your they'll, eggs they'll to be, be runny. They won't be huh? runny, but they'll be super fluffy and light and creamy. And what you do is you just cook them over a low heat mm -hmm. and kind of let them set, and then you move them, and they make kind of shingles of light, light fluffy eggs. Now, are you adding any cheese, any dairy, I mean, any milk? Oh, there's a cream. little cream in here. Okay. And we will add salt and pepper, but I encourage people do not add salt to your eggs till they're almost finished because they break them down and they won't be light and creamy anymore. Okay. okay good and are tip. you using a special bread over here? I noticed they're cut perfectly. We have brioche, and then I brioche. like with the caviar too, we have a pumpernickel rye. Okay. All right. Beautiful. So as so we nice finish these, flavor. you see them get nice and creamy. Just let them set up a little more. We'll cook okay. them a hair more. But well, while you're cooking them, up, tell mm -hmm. me what's going on at the restaurant this weekend we should know about. Well, we have special, some nice Valentine specials for Saturday night. Mm -hmm. And then for the weekend, we have Nate and Kate, I'm sorry, Nick and Kate Moss, two wonderful guitar players, blues players in town. And they will be sharing the stage both days at brunch. Really? They, were, they were just on our show. Kate was just on the show just and last right. week. Typically, I, I believe they don't play together, but Kate's going to run the show this weekend. I'm sure poor Nick's going to be in trouble. <laughs> Wait, now the key to getting your eggs soft, like you said, you better watch them. You got to watch, watch them. them okay. and constantly you gotta stir. Got to stand over them. Yep. See how they're almost there. This is pretty close. So I'm going to add okay. a little salt. Okay. Now's the time for a little salt. A little white pepper. And you say wait till the end. Wait till, till the they're end. almost done before the you add the Because the salt will break the eggs down if you scramble them with the salt in at the beginning. Now, okay. can we do this and add a little cheese if we wanted to you at could. home? Well, you well, would just want the cheese. With the caviar, uh -huh. you don't need it. Okay, that's, yeah. I like, that's, that's I like the southern girl in this in dish. Me. Okay. Let's put some nice minced chives. And you guys are booked at the restaurant this we weekend, aren't you? We are pretty booked up. We might are have you? some stuff late oh, and man. early. Okay, so that's how you cook them. They're nice and soft and creamy. Perfect. Nice We're going to finish fluffy. them with a little bit of butter. That helps My to cream favorite. them out a little more. John, I and love it. And you've got the cream in it, too. Oh, that, those are going to be pretty good. With the cream, yeah. <laughs> adding cream, milk, or water to the eggs kind of helps steam them, and it keeps right. them light and fluffy. John, why don't you plate that? we got to run. And as you do that, also remind us, when, when typically is brunch available on the weekends over there? Uh, 11 to 3, okay. Saturday and Sunday. Beautiful. Um, the blues start at Where's noon and end at 3. Phenomenal. And then we have this beautiful American sturgeon caviar, if I could get it open. Yeah. Oh, man. And we're just going to put this right on top, and you kind of make yeah, make yourself some toast. And enjoy. And then <laughs> open the bubbles. Fantastic. A little bit of sherbel, and we're done. And that's for yeah. the love of your life. Happy, happy, happy anniversary, life. Happy man. Thank, Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Happy 10 years. Always good to see you. Pleasure. John Hogan, River Roast. You know him, you love him. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Corey. Right. Darlene, good thanks. Back in a minute. Where's my fork? <laughs> I can't hear your voice saying I do. I love this thing can't.